experts do acknowledge similarities in the online activities of the two gunmen. One prospective juror here for the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting trial brought up the mass shooting in Allen, Texas. The gunman in the recent Allen, Texas mass shooting killed eight people at an outlet mall. Jessica Reeves of the Anti-Defamation League Center on Extremism tells us the Allen shooters online posts um, that suggest a real animus towards the Jewish community, which of course is the same thing that animated Robert Bowers in his attack on the Tree of Life Synagogue. The Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh is monitoring for upticks and online hate as the Pittsburgh Synagogue shooting trial approaches. Its director of community security, Sean Brokos, says it's something law enforcement does in the cases of mass shootings. In tracing that digital footprint, where did, you know, what are the thoughts of the, uh, the shooter? Where did he or she become radicalized? What were the views? What really were the motivating factors? The Allen, Texas mass shooting came up unexpectedly during the jury selection here for the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting trial. A prospective juror choked up as she confided to the judge that this week, as she read about the victims in Texas, she had burst into tears. She was excused by the court, prosecution, and defense from serving on the Bowers jury. As for other comparisons of the two cases? One parallel that I can point out between Robert Bowers and the Allen shooter is that they both expressed um, sort of a sense of hopelessness. They both appear to have made a decision in their online postings um, to, you know, to embrace sort of a nihilist point of view. At the Pittsburgh Federal Courthouse downtown, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.